Anyway, it's a title cut. It's about my friend Michael Wolf. Michael Wolf had a problem with drugs and alcohol. So he got off drugs and he got off alcohol. And he died anyways. Last year's bitch, you know. <laughs>
freezing of the cold outside. Get a little bit cold outside. He figured he had a couple of options. Option number one. Option number one is he could pack up the kids and the dog and hop in the old Impala, head back down to the trailer court in Bakersfield where he grew up, spend the rest of his life happily ever after. Option number two. Option number two says he could bag the whole scene. Jump on the next Greyhound bus down to Nogala, pop a train down to Puerto Escondido and spend the rest of his life in the sun. But he chooses option number three. Option number three is behind the door where Carol Merrill's standing. There's a big old neon sign flashing the word guilt. Guilt's one of those things that you kind of forget about until you least expect it. It comes around, kicks you in the asses. Hey, remember me? My name is Gil, baby. How do you do? Ah, yeah, his life's doing just fine. Because he's down in a lot of his lips around a barrel. It was easier than he figured. He doesn't mind a mess. Talking to his uncle and sweating on a trigger with his head. It sure feel better when he gets it out of his head. Gets it out of his head. Sometimes we gotta give our head a little rest. Hey, baby, looking for some round in his gumbo. You take a look at his eyes. Thank you, we'll take a short one back in a second.